Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Jungle Island Adventures. This is Soap the Great. Hey, so... Oh, that was kind of glitchy. Yeah, great. Okay, there it goes. If you have been watching my multiplayer series, you will be missing something that's in the usually in the lower right corner. And that would be the mini-map. Because the version that I'm playing in does not support modding. And that is because we are in the snapshot. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are testing it out right now. Is that right? Facing south. Yeah, yep. A whole lot more information available right there. We can see. Yeah, right, right there. Redstone is powered at 12. That's at 13. That's really cool. Yeah, so... What I wanted to do, I had some other plans for this episode, but what I want to do is just go around and take a look at some of the changes in the snapshot and um, and then give you a, a test, or rather a poll, whether we should continue in the snapshot. I'm not going to do anything permanent today, we're just testing it out. Okay, first things first, we're going to see this thing in action. Well, you can hear it you can't see it yeah and uh, see we're, we're putting up up these things and it looks like we can still duplicate even though our frame rate is not allowing those things oh my goodness yeah oh, we've got some rendering issues to deal with but I am taxing the system but the the duplicator machine still works. I started out with one, and now I'm up to ten. And I really don't know where to put these rails now. We'll just put them over here. Uh, so what I want to do is go around to some various things and take a look and see if they are still working. But one of the big things that I was kind of worried about is that in this seed, uh, now, you know, this this island was generated in 1.5, and the terrain generation got updated in 1.7, and this seed now produces a deep ocean right here. And if you've been watching the snapshots, you will know what happens in deep oceans now. That's right, ocean monuments, okay? And so that uh, gave me a little bit of a fright. I'm still picking these things up. We got 11 out of that. That's amazing. So the rail duplicator still works. Uh, this Impulse SV's design still works in 1.8 or the at least snapshot 14W32D. Let me take a sleep real quick. We're going to go on a little boat ride and we're going to examine the boundaries a little bit and it might be a bit dangerous because if there are nice if there are issues or, or rather if there are those neat little guardians um, we are going to need to be prepared and that's why I've brought some potions and we're just gonna pop on around here so this is deep ocean okay and all of this area has been generated already so the monument itself will not generate but what we may end up happening or if a monument was to have generated then we will get the bounding box for the monument and that will spawn the guardians okay so what are those squid there and we're having an issue a little bit here and I'm gonna turn up not video settings but music and sound we're gonna turn up hostile creatures so we can hear them and I brought along some some potions so we've got night vision we should probably drink that just to be ready and it fills up with water almost immediately. 
So you see those air bubbles. That signifies that there is a mine shaft below. And that is the, uh, what's it, um, the dirt room that that generates in the middle of mine shafts. My goodness, chunk loading is a bit problematic, so we should go a little slower. I've got my... Uh, my render distance turned down. So we'll just head on this way. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep going. And if we run into these guys, um, well, I've got a potion of invisibility also. But we are in deep ocean. Yep, there we go. We need to get to land. You see it? You see him? Yeah, there they are. You see him right there? A bit freaky, actually. So we're going to go over here and uh, get out. And there goes my boat. Yep. So I didn't bring a map with me. Yeah, we've got a guardian spawning area, and I'm currently invisible. As long as I don't put anything in my hand. Okay, so this area right here is a an ocean temple boundary. That's the only place that they spawn, is within the ocean temple boundary. So you can see I can get right up close and they're not doing anything because I am invisible. But that means that right here we have the potential for an ocean temple. That's right next to our island. So what I am going to do real quick, I'm going to make a copy of this map. Oh, I hit the water. No good. I'll make a copy of this map and I'm going to delete a few chunks right there and um, and when we come back we'll see if we get the ocean temple generated okay so I will be back in just a moment all right ladies and gentlemen we're back and I'm in the copy of that world with the chunks deleted and this is something I did when we first started back on this series I deleted a bunch of chunks around the island and got the 1.7 generation with a guaranteed ocean behind it. So uh, I'm going to leave, I'm, I'm just going to invite your comments and questions about that. Should we do the same thing again? I don't have much built in, uh, in and around the area. So instead uh, what I'm thinking of doing is deleting all the chunks again um, other than oh yeah oh. I watched Etho do this thing and he got freaked out every time that happened and I'm with him that is freaky okay so we do have an ocean monument right on our back corner which is kind of cool um, but let me know what you think. Should we do this? Should we delete the chunks all around and get the 1.8 generation with all the uh, new block types and, and all of that fun stuff? Or um, what should we do? What do you think? Um, what are you doing? I got a little... Huh. Oh, I, I ran out of air. Got it. So that... I'm sorry. This is just uh, pretty cool to me. Yeah, um, what do you think? Should we go ahead and delete the chunks? Or uh, what should we do? You let me know. Um, and as far as the snapshot goes, 
I'm going to leave that to you as well. Do you want to work in the snapshot? Or do you want to wait till 1.8 comes out? What do you think? Uh, just let me know what you what you think about that. I would love to hear from you. But um, what, what we're going to do is we're going to head on back to uh, to our area. Maybe you'll go around this side, see if we see any more. Yeah, you know, having armor on really helps. Um, I'll probably have to actually craft diamond armor when we take that thing on. Let's see if we run into any more around our area. And that is, I don't know about the temples themselves, but we can see the bounding box if we find any more guardians. So we'll come around to the 1.8 or 1.7 generated area. And that you can see it wherever we've got these uh, drop-offs under the ocean. So if we happen to encounter any more guardians, we will maybe make a note of it, but uh, I'm going to leave that to you. What we're going to do is head back to the base and take a look at some of the redstone contraptions and see if we have any further issues. And do boats still have a problem? I don't know. They said they were going to be fixing boats. But I don't know. We'll we'll see how well that pans out. I should probably get closer to land. Yep, here we go. Home sweet home. Let's head back inside and take a look and see if our stuff is still running. Well, there goes that boat. It, it doesn't matter anyway. This is all a copy. So, so yeah, what we're going to do is go inside. Nice. Yeah. Rendering issues, so it's not quite stable yet. But, uh, hey, let's, uh, let's take a little break and come back once we're up in the tower, okay? So you don't have to watch me climbing that whole thing. All right back in a bit. Alright, so we're here at the first stop on our automation journey, uh, automation testing journey, and uh, this is the bottom part of the iron and gold farms. It's the drop area. It's, we've gotten iron ingot, set of iron ingots, and a gold nugget, although I'm not sure when that might have occurred. But, I don't know, we'll see. So, we'll put this down here. Actually, I'll just take this. And then that way, we'll know for sure if anything pops up. But let's go take a look at the mob farm. Okay, so we're going to climb on up here. This is another thing. We need a way to get up here easily. Because this is quite annoying. Um, one thing that we'll have to change is the villager breeder, the infinite villager breeder from Tango Tech that I put in to fill in our iron farm is not working and it won't work in 1.8 because of the breeding mechanics have changed so we'll have to do something else in that regards but that's fine. Um, the other thing we'll do, we'll turn that on and then we'll We'll head on up. Okay, so we're still getting mob drops. This is good. We've got one golem left. I had like three or four in there. And they they have gotten ransacked. Let's see if anything else drops. Should be about time. Let's see if that thing runs again. You know, I do miss one thing about Optifine, and that is the seamless glass. Oh, there's a chicken. Wonderful. That's going to be laying eggs. Hmm. It's problematic. This thing doesn't seem to be going. All right. 
right, it sounds like we are getting a weather alert. And that's not good. Oh, I know. I don't know if you can hear that. We've got a flash flood warning in place. And, uh, okay, we've got some guys. I think it's because my, um, my, uh, well, what is it? The render distance is low, and they've still got that bug in there about the render distance being tied to mob spawns. So let's see if we get a little bit more here. We'll go up to 10 because that seems to be the magic number. But the redstone is still working, so this is a good thing. Okay. Let's see if we get any more. Hmm. Well, I mean, the frame rate is good. The multi-threading seems to be doing all right. But the rendering, I think, still leaves some to be desired. Well, we're getting a little bit more. And, and our, um, our little collection system is still working. You can hear it shooting the items down through here. Let's head on down. Um, what we'll do is take a look inside of our collection area and see if we've gotten any more. I've heard pigmen going, so that at least is working. The iron farm should be working as well. Yep, sure enough. So it is still producing golems and we're still getting pigmen. Yep. Let's see what we've gotten just in that time. One iron golem. Nope. Yeah, one. And a few pigmen. Well, that's that's decent enough. Now that I'm up here, I can just um, pop on down. Let's see how this ends up. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. The rendering is leaving much to be desired. You let me know. What do you think? Should we take on the snapshot now or should we wait till 1.8 comes out? Should we wait till we get another snapshot? Got any more redstone down there? Um, Star Zombie Farm. No, we're not going to worry about that. Um, what I am going to do, I've got all this junk. We'll put the potions away. And then this goes here. And we'll take all the rest of that stuff in. Maybe I've got potion of... Nope. Let's head through here. And we'll go take a look at our wither farm and blaze farm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I'm I'm not too confident right now. That guy's going crazy. We've got the Nether being multi-threaded, along with the Overworld, which is kind of cool how they managed to get that going. Um, there's our end portal room. Man, it's dark in here. I miss Optifine. That's another thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, hello. Hmm. That's a bug. Go up here. All of this should be non spawnable for the wither skeletons until we get into the farm itself. And we'll come down here. Can I get in? No. No, I've forgotten how this thing works. It has been quite some time since I've been in here, ladies and gentlemen, so. Uh, please forgive me if it seems like I'm trying I'm relearning things. And we got our farm here. 
Just hang out for a little bit. Maybe see if we can get any. Yep, yeah, we got some stuff going. Yep, they're coming on down. It takes a while for this thing to feed in. There we go. And he is stuck. Let's give him a... Well, that's working. It just looks like the rendering is slightly off. It could be because of how slow this PC is. But don't you worry. We have got... We've got uh, some plans about that. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm still saving up my, my pennies and dimes and all that. And, uh, and they fixed that. So no more infinite anvil. So there is a downside. But uh, hey, this thing's working. Let's see if we can find any wither skeletons. And I think we have to turn up the render distance again. We'll go up to 11. Hopefully that doesn't lag out the frame rate too much. A regular skeleton. And we got anything else? Blazes. Um, yeah, there's a blaze up there. And how about wither skeletons? That's really what I'm interested in. Nothing there. Uh, it should still, they should still be spawning here. Everything else seems to be spawning. Come back over here. But yeah, I'm, it doesn't look like we have too much to worry about. I've not gone ahead and done tons of farms yet. So we're, we're not in the same situation as some other, other people that I've watched on YouTube in regards to switching to the 1.8 snapshots. Um, Oh, we got some more? Hmm. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe it's elsewhere. Maybe they see me from somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any other... Okay, enough of this. So, it looks like things are working, which is fine. Um, what we're going to do is head on back to the overworld... Shoot me from there? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to head on back to the overworld. Things seem to be working all right there. And our, our farms are working. And we're going to change this back down to get our frame rate back. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, should we... Should we switch to the snapshots? Should we stick with what we've been doing? Should we uh, delete those chunks and go with the ocean monument? If we do go with the snapshot, should we delete those chunks and go with the ocean monument we know about? Or, or should we leave the map as is? I would like to know your thoughts. Give me, uh, give me some reasons why or why not. Um, I would love to hear them, but hey, welcome back to Jungle Island Adventures. Uh, hopefully, we are going to have some a lot of fun here. We got some uh, some big things planned, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Hmm. Okay, there we go. And uh, anyway, this should should come out with enough time for you to give me some feedback, and by that point. Um, I should, uh, but by that point, we'll, we'll know for sure whether we're going to go with the snapshot or stick with 1.7 until 1.8 comes out. But, uh, I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this, let me know, uh, you know, give me a like or, uh, it's always appreciated. Or, you know, if, if you didn't like something, let me know about that too. Crit constructive criticism is always, always 
uh, welcome. So uh, comments, questions, suggestions, leave those in the down below. But that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.